Today is the day I finally get to build this machine. So I've had this for what seems like an eternity now, but I've been waiting for so long for all the other parts to arrive, and now they've arrived. So it's the new bike day I've been waiting for. I've been riding the Transition Smuggler for since about November, and honestly, it's it's been so capable. Like that short, it's so short travel, but I've ridden it the bike park, as you probably know from some of my other videos, and kind of pretty much everywhere really. But around Squamish, I think that you need a little bit, a little bit more travel. And this is what this beast is. It's going to be 160 up front. Um, I think this has got 150 in the rear. I didn't actually know. Um, so I got it on a bit of a hot deal. Someone in the industry had ordered one and then they ordered the wrong size, so I picked it up from them. And I've had some help uh, for, with the other parts as well. So it's, I didn't buy this for retail, just to be full disclosure, but also this is, a, I didn't get them in ex Oh, now I'm getting lost. <laughs> so I'm gonna head over to Republic Bike Schools, a local shop in Squamish, and they are amazing. Armin, the owner, is great, um, and they've agreed to help me out with uh, putting this together in, in exchange for this video. So, oh, oh, I get this hashtag ad, Oh, If you caught my live stream the other day, I have already put the tires on with the, that foam insert in the back, and we're actually quite interested to see how that goes. So we're gonna pop over, I've checked all the parts fit, which is like the number one important thing on a new bike day. Hey, let's go build up the bike. Nate suggested we do the dropper post first. Have you installed one of these before? I have not. But I've been told it's uh, pretty slick. Oh, for the... Oh, wait, maybe. <laughs> what else could you possibly throw at me, Nate? So one thing I really want to do is, if you imagine... Oh no, there's a chip on it already. One thing I want to do is have, don't have the hoses like crossing over. I want them to kind of go in on themselves. Because I've seen it in a couple of, on a couple of people's bikes and it looks super clean. So, and I also have the brake on the left, the back brake on the left side as well. Think about how it goes, how it goes into there. Almost, almost messed that up. <laughs> So Nate just told me that on the higher builds they take apart all of the pivots to grease them up because he says that sometimes they don't come with grease on and case in point that is completely grease free. And here it is, the perfect Whistler Enduro bike. Full carbon frame with Trex ABP suspension system, meaning that when I drag the brakes like a true punter, the suspension will keep working. That's pretty good. 150 millimeters of travel in the rear and room for a 750 mil water bottle on the inside of the frame. So, you know, mud and stuff doesn't get on it. That's the most important thing. It's a size large too. Probably fits me pretty good, I think. No. Yeah, it does. 29 inch wheels. Because the wagon wheelers are just better. Okay? Cool. 
And the most important thing of all, a sticker that I made myself so that I know which bike is mine. Now let's do that expected partsless rundown that everyone loves. 1UP dropper post, set at 170mm. The brand new RockShox Lyric Fork, set at 160mm of travel. Super Pimp Red Caliper SRAM Code Brakes, locked onto a 760mm wide rental fat bar light on a 40mm apex stem. Oh, and a red 1UP EDC, naturally. Plus these ODI Elite Pro grips, they're pretty rad. E13 TRS Plus tires. No, not plus size, they're just called... Oh, you understand. E13 TRS alloy wheels, because I don't need carbon wheels. E13 11 speed, 9 to 46 tooth cassette. Yes, 11 speed. I just put a small 30 tooth chainring on the front. It's fine. These E13 TRS alloy cranks are 170 mil, and those are Crank Brothers mallets. In red, of course and a titanium railed specialized phenom saddle in 143 width because they had it on offer in another shop. Okay, okay, that is enough. Oh, it is so over the top. Right, back to normal. Hey everyone, so if you enjoyed that video, please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Do you know what, if you enjoyed it as well, you should have to give it a like. And if you didn't like it, there's also a dislike button. But, you know, you're your own thing. Now, let me know what I should call this in the comments section. All names appreciated. Thanks for watching, punters. See you next time. <laughs>